Hi, I'm Scott Knowlton. I'm here at PCI SIG DevCon 2015 with Paul, and we're doing a demo uh, between our verification IP for PCI Express and our PCI Express controller for Gen 4. And so we're going to be walking you through the process of what some of those tests look like when doing system integration of the IP into a chip. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate the introduction. So um, I wanted to introduce to you our latest VIP for PCI Express Gen 4. Today, what we're going to be showing you is an integration test coming out of our PCIe test suite running against the PCI Express controller. And what this demo does, it's a um, fairly simple integration test that's going to really just kind of negotiate through the different speeds, get you up to Gen 4, and then finally we're going to do a bunch of memory transactions and uh, observe that. So as part of this, what I'm also going to show you is the integration with Verdi Protocol Analyzer, which takes advantage of a graphical interface to show you the different transactions integrated in with waveforms to facilitate easy debug. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So what we're doing is showing Verdi Protocol Analyzer. Inside of here, you're seeing the simulation log file, which has been loaded up and annotated. So this makes it easy to kind of navigate through. You can have the whole simulation log file, all the details of the simulation inside of it. And then we also have the waveform view. And you can see here we have the uh, pipe signals loaded in. And what I'm started at is I'm just starting right here at the Gen 1 speed negotiation, where we're about to transition into uh, Gen 3. And then on this other window, what we have is the actual uh, packets from the protocol, T, uh, TLPs, DLLPs, ordered sets, etc., cetera, um, being shown. And we can see all of our ordered sets here, and we can see our traffic pattern. You, normally, what you would do is zoom in on these, and when you pick one, you can actually see the details of it. So I'm going to go in a little bit more detail, but I just want to kind of give you the overall layout of the screen. As I mentioned, what we're doing is we're in recovery speed here, and we're doing a speed transition to 8 gig. Then the next thing I'm going to do is kind of fast forward in time, and then we see we're also going to 16. So we're now at Gen 4 speeds. So the next step is going to be to go through and uh, perform equalization. So you can see here, we're in equalization, recovery equalization 2 at this point, and then we'll get into 3, and then eventually we're going to drop out into L0, which we are now. Now that we're in L0, we're going to actually start doing memory transactions. So if we go a little further, all of our different transactions are running. You can see over here on the, on the right hand side, we're showing the protocol analyzer view, where you can see that we're in L0, and we're starting to see transactions happening. So if I select one, for instance, right here, I've got a memory write 64, I get all of the details. I can see the address, the data, and all the th everything that's associated with that packet going through. And as we do that, we can also see complete the, um, any completions, like if it was something like a, a memory read, we would see that completion packet also show up. But here in this case, we're just seeing acts and acts and so forth as we flow through. And here are all of our different writes as we're going through the system. And <clears throat> just keeps going like that. So what this test is really doing is just going through bringing up the link, getting some basic throughput going, making sure that we have good integration between the core and the VIP itself. Thanks, Paul. So that concludes our demo here at PCI SIG 2015 of our PCI Express controller with our PCI Express verification IP. Thank you for watching.